What's up everyone, I'm Nick, and today we're talking about the slider. So just like it sounds, it is a slider component that we can literally slide back and forth across our screen. And when we slide, we can get different values from the slider. So we're gonna look at how we can customize these sliders to use our own data sets. So if we wanna go from one to five, or if we wanna go from one to 100, we can customize that. We're gonna look at the values that we actually can step or slide between. So if we wanna use only whole numbers or if we wanna go all the way to the digits and decimal places, we can customize the slider that way. And finally, we're gonna wrap up by customizing the slider with minimum, maximum labels, changing the color, and really just getting overall comfortable using the slider. All right, I am back in our Xcode project as we always are. Let's right click the navigator create a new file, it's going to be a Swift UI view and let's call this one Slider Bootcamp. Click enter and once you're inside, click resume on the canvas. You guys should be getting used to this by now. Uh, we do the same, same setup on every video. So uh, let's get coding here and let's start by adding a very simple slider to the screen. Slider open the parentheses and there's a bunch of different options here. We're going to use a couple of them in this video. Let's start very simply with just the value completion. And we can see that we need a binding type of binary floating point. Binary floating point is basically just a number. So let's at the top here create a, a variable. We'll do at state var slider value of type and we'll do double because a double is a type of binary floating point. And we're going to set this equal to 10 to start. So for the value, we'll just do the money sign slider value. And as simple as that, we can click resume on our canvas and we should now be able to see a slider. So very simple. We have the slider on the screen now and we can move it back and forth and we have this blue line for the filled in part. We can change this blue color by just calling dot accent color dot red. Now it's red, so it fits our theme. And let's put this slider into a VStack. So I'll hold the command button, click on slider, embed in VStack. I'm gonna add a text above it saying rating with a colon. Then let's add another text. And in this one, we're gonna put the slider value. So string and we'll do the forward slash open and close parentheses and put the slider value inside. And when we move this, we can see the slider rating is actually changing as we move the slide. And you can see that it starts at zero actually and it goes up to 1.0. So our slider value of 10 doesn't really work correctly with this current settings of zero to one. So let's change out this slider. I'm gonna comment this out and I'm gonna do another slider. Let's do slider, open the parentheses, and this time we're gonna use the value in completion. The value, of course, will be the money sign slider value. And here we need a closed range. So this is basically where we want the slider to go from, from zero to 100 is what we're gonna do. So we'll do zero dot 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 100. So now our slider goes from zero to 100. It's starting at 10, so that's why it's down here on the left side and we can move it all the way up to 100 down to zero. So slider is very basic, pretty straightforward here. So this works and it's nice and smooth, but it's going through every single little decimal place. But sometimes you only want like full numbers. So for example, let's change this from zero to 100. Instead, let's go from one to five and let's give it an initial value of three. So maybe this was a place in our app where people could rate something from one to five, and we wanted them to only rate it one, two, three, four, or five. Well, with this current slider, we can go and rate it 2.39, but that's not really gonna work because we want it to be either two or three. So what we can do, we can comment out this slider, add another one, slider, and I will scroll down here, open the parentheses, and this time we're gonna look for the one with the value in and step. So I'll click enter on that. The value, of course, money sign slider value. In, we're gonna do one dot 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 five from one to five. And now we have the step completion. So for the step, I'm gonna put 1.0. And for the unediting change, we don't actually need that right now. So I'm just going to delete it. 
And now we have the same slider, except we have this step of 1.0. And that basically means that it only will increment or decrement by one. So when I go to change this, we can see that it jumps from one to two to three to four. So just like that, we now have our slider only at whole numbers. We could change this step. We could do 0 0.5. We only want it to be half numbers. So, so 3 to 3.5 to 4.0. Now, if we're doing this with like 2.0 or 2.5, we don't want all these extra decimal places in here because that looks super ugly. So quickly, let's format this to this number here. So let's put this text on multiple lines so it's clearer. And we're going to get rid of this whole, I'm going to comment out this slider value because we don't need it. And instead, let's call string. And we're going to look, and we're going to start typing formatter. And we want the one with the format and... We're looking for the one with the format and arguments. So hit enter on that. There's a handy way to format these numbers. So in the format, we're going to use the quotes. And we're going to do percent dot two F. Now this is just something that you need to, you will learn or memorize. But this basically is going to format our number to two decimal places. And we're going to put this slider value in here. Hit resume on the canvas and now we can see our number is formatted nicely into two decimal places. So we can change this to one decimal place that makes a little more sense. So now just 3.0, 3.5 uh, or if we did a step of 1.0 and we wanted this to be zero decimal places we could just do like this. And we could do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The last thing I want to show you guys, so let's comment out this slider, add another slider open the parentheses and this time let's use the let's use all of the parameters value in step on editing changed minimum value maximum value hit enter on that one so we got a lot of stuff going on in this completion here let's start by putting all of these parameters on separate lines so I'm gonna hit enter before value enter before in enter before step enter before on editing changed enter before minimum, enter before max, and enter before label. So the value we already know is going to be the money sign slider value. The range we are going to do one dot 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 five for one to five. The step we already know we will do 1.0. On editing changed. Now this is a function that's going to run whenever we change what the slider value is. So I'm going to hit enter on this and this is a boolean, I guess, determining whether or not the editing has actually changed. We're not going to use that, so I'm just going to put an underscore, so we don't really need that value. And then in here, we can put code for when the value changed. So I'm going to create a variable at the top, at state var. Uh, let's just do color of type color, and we'll set it equal to dot red. Let's add some foreground color to this text of color. So the text will be red at the start. And on editing change, we'll just do color equals dot green. So, this, so we know this will get called when our text turns to green. And then minimum value label. Let's just add here text. And we're going to put what our, what our minimum value is. So it's one. So I'm just going to put in the number one here. And another text. And we'll put five for the maximum. And then for the label here, I'm going to click enter and let's put in another text for the label. Let's put title. Let's click resume on the canvas. And now that we have this super complex slider completion here and see what we got. All right. So our text is now red because we have the color at the top. We have a minimum label, number one, which we put here. We have our maximum label on the right, which is five. Our values are from 1 to 5, and our step is 1.0, so we can move by 1. And when we go to change this, we see that as soon as we clicked on that slider, that color changed to green, and that's because the on editing changed function ran, and it changed our color to green. Now with this format, we don't actually see this label. I don't see it uh, wherever it says title. So I'm just going to ignore it for now. Uh, sometimes the label is there for like different formats or different completions uh, but clearly we can't see it. it doesn't really matter for right now 
Well, you guys get the gist here of how we can use this slider. And I just want you to be aware that you can customize these texts here. So instead of just a plain text, you could add formatters to these as well. So for this text, I could put this on separate lines here and then start formatting this. Do font, large title, foreground color, orange. And we get real custom minimum and maximum labels as well. So that's it for this video. Another easy one, just covering how sliders work. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. As always, I'm Nick. This is Swiftful Thinking. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.